So check this out. Whoop just launched a brand new feature, making it the first wearable to use generative AI to deliver next level performance coaching with the new Whoop Coach feature. And Whoop Coach is powered by GPT-4, which you might've heard of from this little thing called ChatGPT. So check this out. Most people, think about like your average Apple Watch user. Do you think they know what it means when their HRV drops or if they have more slow wave sleep than the night before or what their VO2 max is relative to other people? The answer is probably no. Like unless you're really in the trenches on that and doing a lot of research, most people probably don't know what those mean. And even if they do know what they mean, a lot of people don't have a good reference for like is 105 for an HRV good? Is it bad? Like it depends on your age obviously, but it's gonna take a lot of research. And that's exactly what Whoop is tackling. And so in the app, they added this new feature called Whoop Coach. And it seems subtle. Like if you go on the app, it's just this little tiny bar there, but it's an absolute game changer. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use this and how to actually go from beginner to power user using Whoop, like one of the most powerful health and fitness trackers on the market. And I'll be starting off by showing you what the feature is, and then I'll get into eight major types of commands that you can use to gain deeper, actionable insights into your health and fitness. So it's great that you're wearing a device, but a lot of people just don't know the best way to act on that. And that is exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. Now, now this is a brand new feature that was just released from Move, but fortunately they partnered with me on this video so I could test out this new feature ahead of time and I've been using it for about a month now. So with that being said, let's get over to my phone. I'll be kind of walking you through a lot of these things are, but in general, if you open the Whoop app, of course on the top, they've always kind of made it like a little bit more actionable than other devices. They kind of have like the sleep, strain and recovery system that kind of simplifies everything you're doing, but still you're just getting these numbers and, and like 92 HRV. I know it's lower than my usual HRV, but is that because I'm getting sick? Is there some reason for that? So if you scroll down, or actually don't even scroll down, just look at the middle of the screen, you'll see ask Whoop anything. If we just tap on that, it opens up this whole interface. And this is the Whoop coach. And essentially the way this works is just like most other AI. Think of ChatGPT, for example. What we could do is we could ask this a question in the little box there, hit send, and it will reply to us. Now, a really key distinction between this and a lot of the other like chat GPTs out there is that this has data about you. So you're not just asking what is the average HRV, you're asking what's like, how is my HRV compared to others? So this has all of your data and it can answer a lot of your questions just as a regular coach that you might hire, like an actual person. So for example, I can ask, why was my HRV lower last night? And you can see the answer right here. It says, great question, your HRV dropped from 97 to 92. So yes, it is lower. And so maybe this is because I'm getting sick. Maybe it's because it says right here, my recovery was a little bit lower. Um, it also says my heart rate was consistent. So it's not related to my heart rate, which is good. And all of that could basically mean I'm getting sick, which I was, I'm coming off a cold right now. So it got that right, it made sense. So now getting into those eight major categories of commands, the first one that I really like to use is asking for training plan recommendations. If you're running a 5K, if you're trying to lose weight, whatever you're trying to do, you might not know where to start and you might not know like what your baseline is. How hard should you push yourself? How fast should you be running? And this fortunately knows a lot about you because you're wearing it. So you could ask it, for example, I'm trying to improve my mile time. I'm running, I'm trying to run a faster mile. I can ask for a, a training plan. And you can see right here, it gives me six different steps that I should be doing to optimize my mile time. It's gonna say I wanna do tempo work with my heart rate in an 70 to 80% zone. It'll say that I want to have my heart rate in the 95 to 100% zone uh, when I'm doing speed intervals. And so if you don't know what that means, another great thing you can do here is ask follow-up questions. So the second thing here is just continuing the conversation, which is something we see on chat GPT and a lot of other uh, AI chats. So you can simply, like it knows what the last question was and you can just say, uh, what should what should my 95% to 100% interval look like? And you can see right here, it tells me that my heart rate range should be between 183.35 and 193, which is great. So now I know exactly what I should be aiming for when I'm doing those sprint intervals. I don't have to do a lot of Googling. It's all just in one place. And it's very knowledgeable, which is really nice to have. And moving on to number three, this is what Whoop is calling insights into the unknown, essentially asking like, why am I tired? Am I getting sick? Why am I not sleeping as well? Like different things that are more generic that you know something's off, you can tell, but you wanna know what the data are showing. And so you can simply ask like, why am I tired? I'll ask that right now, why am I tired? 
Um, I'm not like super tired today, but we'll see what it says. And this advice is actually anything but generic. It pulls from an extensive Voob knowledge base and then makes advice personalized to my own data. So it's definitely not random. It's based on, on me and, and my data and everything Whoop knows about me. And one thing that's surprising to me about Whoop, maybe this is just for me, maybe other people have something different, but it really wants me, like every single night, it tells me I should be sleeping like nine and a half hours. And there's no way I, I even could sleep nine and a half hours if I tried. I slept about seven hours last night, but it also ties in some estimates from more of like a, a mental side of things as well. So if you look at number three, it says strain was lower than usual. It's 8.2, normally it's a lot higher. So it says maybe, like maybe you're just beat and you needed a rest day. And so you're tired today because like you're still recovering from that. And in this situation, I, I was sick. So that's exactly why that was lower. But this all ties it together and kind of answers a little bit more of why you are tired. And of course on the bottom, it says it's still learning about me. So even though I've been wearing this for, I think about three weeks or a month now, um, it's still like learning a lot about me. And so it's great to know that the longer I wear this, the more it'll learn my trends and, and like my body temperature and things like that. And the insights will only get better over time as those patterns really start to emerge and Whoop can optimize and figure out what's gonna be best for you. Moving on to number four, this is going to be explanations of important topics, which is kind of what I mentioned in the intro of this video, What right? Like if I was talking about HRV, a lot of people don't know like, what is that? What's a good range for that? Where should it be? And so I could simply ask, like, what is, what is HRV? You know, you see HRV on, like, it's obviously an important metric. You see it right away when you open the Whoop app. And so here it's gonna tell you, HRV is the heart rate variability. I don't have to read it, like, but you can see right there exactly what it is. Now, this introduces a few more things I wanna show you here. So for one, on the right side, you can give some feedback with a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down as well as a comment. So this is always going to be optimizing over time as more and more users say like, hey, that was a good answer, that was not a good answer. So it's gonna only get better, which is fantastic. That's how AI models work. And then once again, if we scroll down, the response not only has a lot of valuable information about what HRV is, but it also includes some of our own information, like what my HRV was, last night. And in addition, on the very bottom, we have some helpful articles that we could read to learn even more about this. This might have graphs in there, might have something else that could be more valuable to help us understand that topic, which actually leads us into the next style of command, which is asking how you compare to other people in your demographic, whether that is your, your height, your age, your weight, your sex, whatever. And so I could say, how does my HRV compare to other people my age? And this could be useful, not just for your HRV, this could be useful for your strain, it could be useful for your like your just general sleep, like how well do I sleep compared to other people my age? And this should be giving you pretty good ideas of how you compare to other people in the Whoop community to have a like just a general idea of if you're doing well or not. So you can see right here, your HRV is uh, quite impressive. Okay, great, so my HRV is good. I'm happy to see that. Um, and it'll also tell you like higher is better. Some people don't know that. And so just useful information you can get there. So before we get into the next one on this list, I wanna point out the little chat icon on the left side there, that's actually gonna create new conversations. So you can clear this one, we're not really clear it, but just make a new fresh one. And if you wanna see all the different conversations you have, you can tap on the top right. And you can see I have a couple going on right now. You can also delete them if you don't wanna have all those, but that's a great way to have different threads, different conversations where you can kind of track one thing in a specific thread if you wanna keep it organized like that. Um, and it, like I said before, it remembers what your questions were as long as you're within the same conversation. As soon as you tap the little button on the bottom left and get a new conversation, it's not gonna remember the context you said your questions from the previous conversation. It still has all of your data, everything's the same, but that's just one subtle difference there. So I'm gonna create a new one here. And the next one on our list is actually the ability to use this like customer support to ask questions about your device, whether that is like, how do I charge it? Why is it not charging? Maybe how do I know what the battery level is? How can I change the fit? Different things like that. So let's just ask, how can I check the battery status of my Whoop 4.0? Which is the device I'm wearing right now. And this is great, I actually asked a different variation of this question earlier, asking the percentage of my battery and it told me to check the app. Whereas this time it's actually giving exactly what I was hoping it would, telling me that I could double tap the Whoop to get an LED on the side and that's gonna tell me based on the color what the battery status is of my Whoop right now. So I think by now you're probably picking up on a trend of, of what this can actually do, uh, but we still have two more to talk about. One of them, so this is number seven now, is to ask about the impact of one thing that you did on something else. So if I just say, did I go on a run too late yesterday? 
By the way, Whoop just automatically detects your runs. You can manually start them. I never do. It just it just knows when I'm running, which is impressive. Uh, but you can see right here, if I ask, okay, did I run, go on a run too late yesterday? It says, you started running at 7.48 p.m., lasted for 37 minutes. And this shows that my sleep efficiency was 91%, which is pretty okay, I guess. It's decent. And it says that I was able to fall asleep not too long after my workout and maintain good sleep quality. So turns out it actually really didn't affect me all that much. It wasn't a bad, it wasn't too late for that specific workout. All right, and then finally, number eight on the list, I, I almost didn't include this one, but I couldn't help myself. This one is, you can actually ask more than just fitness and health questions. Even though that's the main focus of this, like while you have it open, you could ask it like, what is the capital of Kentucky? Or, or ask it to write a comment about Michael Bryan's video on Whoop Coach. All right, so maybe it doesn't have the best sense of humor, but you could ask it other questions. That's the whole point here. So that's my summary of how to use Whoop Coach. Of course, if there are any other ways you like to use this, any other styles of commands, please leave a comment down below. I'm always interested to learn of new ways to use this powerful tool. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, consider watching this one next. I think you'll really enjoy that one. And if you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you over in the next video.